So Cam Newton is going to be a Patriot in 2021, and I don't hate this signing. Everyone's freaking out about the deal that's reportedly uh, worth $14 million, but I think that the Adam Schefter tweet was certainly misleading. According to ESPN's uh, Mike Reese, and don't worry, I'm going to get into the film study in a second, but uh, according to Mike Reese, what he said was that Cam Newton's contract has $6 million tied to just how far the Patriots advance in the playoffs. Nothing else, just how far the Patriots advance. And so we're assuming there's other incentives in there as well. And keep in mind, while Cam Newton's deal was only worth like one and a half million last year, there was like, it was up to a total of seven and a half million. So it kind of seems like this is basically just he's getting about seven, eight million dollars. Plus there's a ton of incentives in there. So if he can, you know, have success, then that's what will happen. So while I would agree that 14 million would be quite the overpay, I actually don't think this is an overpay. I think that seven and a half million ish plus incentives seems totally reasonable to me because obviously if you make the playoffs next year and go well in the playoffs with Cam Newton as your starter, the Patriots are not going to be annoyed at whatever they're paying him. So this just makes total sense to me. But now the question becomes, is he worth a high backup salary? In my opinion, yes. And I'm, I'm going to talk about the good and the bad and really get to my final conclusion on how I feel about Cam as a player. So first things first, let's start off with the running game for a second. This is going to be a third down and two. So that yellow line, that's where the first down marker is. And it's just going to be a little run, a quarterback run to Cam Newton's right, which is the left of the screen. And this is just why having a running quarterback can be so effective is you can simply just block everyone in the area and you can move a lot quicker when you do this. Watch, Newton takes the snap and it's just really well blocked. And that's my point really is that the Patriots have an insane offensive line and they just added Tr uh, Trent Brown although they will lose Joe Thune so you know I think Brown is probably better when he's playing at his potential but they're they're both great so kind of a wash but at the same time the reason why I think that having a running quarterback could be so effective is because you can take advantage of that great offensive line so I think that that's one of the things that I really want to I really think it could be effective for New England. This one's another good example. This time, it's not going to be a quarterback run. Instead, it's going to be a quarterback scramble. So there's a defensive lineman uh, taking on a center on a one-on-one -on -one matchup, which is never ideal, and it's certainly not going to be ideal in this moment. Watch there be just immediate pressure, but Newton notices it, steps around it, and scrambles and picks up a decent gain on it. So again, He's athletic, he can run with the football, and that's something that he's bringing to the table. It's something that a lot of other quarterbacks can't do. So it's a, it's something in the positive side for sure. What's the negative? Well, he's not very good at throwing the football. So that's that's part of the downside. I'm not going to say he's a bad thrower of the football, but he has his consistency issues to say the least. He has some good moments too, but it's mostly the consistency issues with the accuracy is by far and away his biggest negative trait. Like right here, here's a great example. Uh, it's going to be, I'm not even going to break down the whole play just because that doesn't matter. It's a check down, so this is a play that just, it has to work. If you're going to throw a check down on third and 13, you have to make that throw. You can't miss a check down on third and 13. You just can't. Watch. So this play develops. Newton looks at his first read, doesn't get open, takes the check down to move the ball down the field, and just misses the throw, quite frankly. It wasn't horribly missed, but it was certainly missed enough, and that was a wide open situation. So well, it wouldn't have really mattered. They probably would have only gained a few yards on that play. I think it does go to show sort of the accuracy issues. This is one example of many. We've all seen the, you know, we've all seen him miss throws. He uh, had some bad games on primetime. So I'm sure, you know, no one is surprised to see that, yes, he does have accuracy issues. We do have to bring that up. I now want to show this play because honestly, this is a huge play to talk about. I think this is a not this one play in particular, but this concept in this route against this concept. I made a top 10 uh, plays of Tom Brady's playoff run to use another quarterback who, believe it or not, once played for the New England Patriots. And like the top four plays of his playoff run were all against this type of coverage. He was able to, it's such a key coverage to get chunk plays. And if you can get that, it can just be a huge advantage in the game. What it is, is it's a cover one man blitz. So I think cover one man hole or robber is a little bit better because that's not a blitz. But the reality is one safety deep in man coverage, typically sort of down to sidelines, you are going to have some opening. If you have a receiver who can consistently win one-on-one -on -one matchups, which the Patriots don't, 
or if you have a quarterback who can consistently make perfect throws down the field, which the Patriots don't, then these things can work out very well. So that's kind of a bit of their issue. And I think that this could go a long way towards them having a much better offensive season is just finding a way to clear this up. And one key way would be to get a good receiver. But could Cam Newton beat a guy? Well, maybe. So Newton takes the snap and you are going to see that Again, there's going to be some separation. Newton was hit as he was thrown, but still makes a relatively accurate throw. And there's a bit of separation right here, not a ton of separation. And this throw is also going to be a bit overthrown. Watch, isn't quite able to be complete. I don't know who to put the blame on on that one. I really don't. Uh, you can put it on Bird. You can put it on Newton whoever you want. The reality of the situation is, though, is that they have to figure out how to get those to work. And for Cam Newton, do you trust that he could beat a guy who can do that consistently? I would say no. I think he probably could occasionally, but just that's never been his game really is those types of plays. So I don't think he's going to start now at this point in his career. Maybe I'm wrong. Listen, Cam Newton, very fun player. I would love to be wrong. Uh, and plus, I just I think the, the league is more fun when the Patriots are good, quite frankly. I, I just think that it's nice to have a villain in there. But uh, I that being said, one of the ways that you could maybe, maybe make up for it is get a receiver who, instead of you have to hit a stop sign 40 yards down the field, you have to hit a school bus 40 yards down the field, right? You get a better receiver, get that true number one receiver who can dominate those types of matchups and just make things easier for Newton. That's an option you have on the table, and that's an option I could easily see New England going with. And last but not least, one thing that I want to say that is a positive about Cam Newton's game is just he's a veteran player who sort of knows what to do, and I think that that can help him out a lot. This is a uh, play against the Jets. It's going to be a cover two zone blitz right now, and you have a tight end running over the middle. That's how this play works. Newton, once he reads the coverage, that's going to be something he wants to throw to. So that's going to be Newton's, uh, you know, where he eventually ends up looking. So watch, Cam takes a snap, uh, kind of a play action, sort of a half play action, and he's getting ready to throw it. But what I love about this is, again, the patience. He he knows exactly when to throw it because you notice that there's a Jets linebacker who's sort of over the middle. Notice how, he, you know, he's kind of in charge of covering a little bit further down towards the bottom of the screen, not all the way down, but kind of just one section above all the way down. The issue, though, is that he's, you know, because of the sort of half play action, he's out of position. He's at the hash marks that Newton is standing on. So Newton knows there's going to be some separation. He just has to wait until there's going to be an opening and then make the throw as soon as he knows it's going to be past the Jets player who I've circled in black. Newton does make this throw, and they're able to, you know, that's that's a great throw. I know there was, I know it had to be sort of a diving catch, but that's where Newton wanted to throw it. That was perfect, because if he throws it too high, the safety will come over and deliver a big hit, and that's never fun to feel. So that's exactly perfect job by Newton, and that's just the situation, is he understands his role. He knows what he has to do. He's a smart player. He's not the most accurate quarterback. So again, he does everything well except for throw the football, so that's his only issue. But even that isn't a mess. So to answer my question that I said right before I uh, started on this film study, I do think this is a good signing. I think it's good. I think he's worth a backup spot because now you at least have a baseline of okay quarterback play. It's not going to be anything special. He's probably a good backup or, uh, you know, bad starter quality player right now. That's what I think. And given that you don't know what the quarterback situation is going to be, it gives you a baseline. It's not that expensive. It really isn't. You can draft a quarterback, or you can maybe even still try to sign someone. You're not out of, you know, this, the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes if you want to go that route. And even if you just draft a quarterback and he's your day one starter, well, at least you have a good backup now, which can be important. You know, good backups matter. So I like this move, even though the internet is flaming the Patriots. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me now that you've heard my thoughts? Did you already agree with me? Or do you think that this is still too much and Cam Newton is just completely washed up and seven and a half million with potential for more is too much for a backup let me know what you think always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching